Okay, my dear students, in the previous lesson, we learned how to calculate depreci uh, depreciation using full year policy. But now we are working on month wise policy. Basically, there are two ways to calculate depreciation using both of the methods either it's a straight line method or uh, be it a reducing balance method. Now, there are two policies to calculate depreciation one is full year policy and one is month wise policy in a full year policy we were not worried about the dates on which the assets were bought or sold in a month wise policy we need to cater the dates as well okay uh, in a month wise policy we are going to calculate the actual number of months the asset was used in any particular year okay if we have bought the asset on 1st january and the year is ending on 31st december and we still have the asset at the end of the year. So therefore we have used the asset for the entire year. Uh, so what happens if we have sold the asset on maybe 30th June? So in that case, we are only going to depreci uh, depreciate the asset from January to June, that is six months, okay? And what happens if we have bought a new asset in any particular year? If we have bought the asset, uh, let's suppose on 1st October, and the year is ending on December, we only need to calculate depreciation for three months, that is October, November, and December. So actually we need to count the number of months the asset was actually used in any particular year. Now let us uh, learn this with the help of a past paper question. We have a question, uh, the following information related to the machines of cross B packing. Now, as you can see on 1st January, we have bought a machine uh, the name is machine A for 12,000. This is original cost. Now in the second year, that is uh, end of September, we have uh, uh, bought another machine that was machine B and we have bought it for 16,000. Now, as you can see in the third year, 2016, we haven't bought any new machine. Instead, we have disposed of machine A and the machine A originally costed us 12,000 and we have sold it for how much? For 7,500. Now let us read the depreciation policy in the question. We have charging depreciation 20% using straight line method. Okay, it's a straight line method. But the important thing to uh, see is that we are charging the depreciation using month wise policy. Now where it is written, depreciation is charged in the year of purchase or sale is based on months of ownership. Now this is important. We are charging month wise policy and it's written months of ownership. So therefore we need to calculate depreciation using what? Using month wise policy. Okay. Now uh, what we need to do, we need to chart depreciation using month wise for both of the years that is 2015 and 16. Now let us see how we can uh, calculate depreciation actually. In the examination, uh, the space for working is also given. Now I have made this table for final answers and I have also made some column for working. Now we have actually two machines, machine A or B. First of all, we are going to see that the date on which the machine A was bought and the amount uh, that we actually paid for that. Uh, we have bought machine A for 12,000 on 1st January 2014. So this was the original cost on 1st January 2014. Uh, but as you can see, we need to calculate depreciation not for 14 but for 15 and 16. Now let us worry about uh, 2015 first. In 2015, we uh, had a machine A that we bought in 14, that is previous year. And in 2015, we have also bought machine B. Now the machine B that we bought, we bought it at the end of September for 16,000. So this was the date, end of September, that is 16,000. So depreciation rate is 20%. Uh, so we need to charge 20%. Now the thing is that uh, if we apply 20% to 12,000, the depreciation is 2400. Now uh, on machine A, we are charging depreciation for the entire year. Why? Because we haven't bought the machine in 2015, but instead we bought the machine in 14. Now as you can see, uh, it was bought in 14 also at the start of the year. Okay. So in 2014, we used the machine for the entire year 
and in 2015 as well we have used it for entire year so we do not need to uh, charge for month wise uh, instead we have charged for the entire year because from 1st January uh, 2015 till December 15, 31st December we have used the machine for the uh, whole of the 12 months now let us see what will happen in machine B now as you can see we have bought the machine at the end of September so therefore we are not going to uh, chart depreciation till September why because we have just bought the machine at the end of the September and therefore we are going to start using the machine from 1st of October now let us count the months in October that is October 2015 then November then December so therefore we have only used the machine for three months so what we need to do first of all we need to apply 20% on 16,000 so this will be 3200 16,000 times 20% 3200 and this 3200 is for entire year okay but we haven't used the machine for the entire 12 months instead we have just used the machine for three months so what we need to do we need to prorata this and this is known as a prorata basis also so we need to charge 3 upon 12 okay so 3 upon 12 it becomes 800 only okay so the machine b is only used for three months in the first year that is 2015 now let us uh, repeat this calculation for 2016 uh, now uh, have we sold the machine in 2016 yes we have sold one of the machine that is machine a in 2016 now let us move to the second year as you can see in 2016 we have sold machine uh, a but uh, prior to selling it we have used it for six months that is from january to june 2016 now uh, in a full year policy we never charge depreciation on the asset that we have sold this year but in a month wise policy we used to charge depreciation and we are going to charge for six months okay so first of all we need to apply 20 percent to the original cost and this again would be 2400 but this time we need to apply 6 upon 12 we need to uh, uh, proportionate it for six months only okay so we are going to charge only half year depreciation that is six months so half of 2400 would be 1200 okay because we have sold this machine machine a now, but now as you can see machine b we have just bought it three months uh, uh, just uh, before so therefore we are not going to sell this machine because it's a newer machine so we need to ch charge depreciation for the full year okay so what we need to do we need to apply 20 percent on the original cost that is 16,000. so this year we are going to apply uh, full uh, year depreciation that is 3200 so this was basically month wise policy in a month wise policy we only charge depreciation for the exact number of months that we have used in any particular period now let us do one more exercise in order to understand this further because it is a uh, bit uh, difficult area and let us do some more exercises for month wise policy now we have another question with the name of sara and it is a, a bit a complicated question and so let me read the questions for you uh, sara runs a wholesale business okay uh, an extract from a statement of financial position balance sheet at 31st december 2009 show okay now as you can see at the end of 2009 we have motor vehicles that originally costed the business 371 and the total depreciation that was charged till date was 130 and if we deduct both of these uh, we are left with net book value and these is this is the data for 2009 now as you can see the next year is 2010 in 2010 what we have done we have uh, a motor vehicle that was purchased in 2006 for 9200 and this was basically the original cost and we have sold this machine for how much we have sold this machine for 500 and in note 2 as you can see we have bought another uh, vehicle for 1500 so we have sold one of the older vehicles and we have bought a new in uh, place of that okay so the depreciation rate is 20 percent per annum cost cost mean it's a straight line method but the important thing to note is with the rate being applied for each part of the year what does this mean part of the year uh, it means it's a month wise policy okay it's a month wise policy no allowance is made for residual value and what is residual value will be covering it in the later lessons 
so we need to calculate depreciation for the year 2010 now just remember if we have bought an asset and if we have sold an asset we have done both of them and it's a month wise policy then what we need to do we need to chart depreciation in three steps the first step in the first step we are going to chart depreciation on the assets <clears throat> In the first step, we are going to chart depreciation on those assets uh, which we have used for entire year. We have used the assets for the full year. Now, let me connect it with the uh, data. Now, uh, at the uh, end of the previous year or if, uh, at the start of this year, we had motor vehicles worth 371. Now, as you can see, uh, out of this 371, we have sold one of the vehicle. And the vehicle that we have sold this year originally costed Sara 9200. Okay. And on which date we have sold the asset? Actually, we have sold it at the mid of the year, that is 30th June. Now, this means we haven't used this asset for the entire year. Okay. We have just used the asset for the six months. Now, what are we going to do? First of all, we need to deduct this asset. Why? So, therefore, we are left with assets that we have used for entire year okay so these are the vehicles that were used for the full year so what we need to do we need to apply 20 percent of that in order to calculate the depreciation so this is basically first step then what we need to do we need to chart depreciation the assets that we have disposed of this year now as you can see in note number one we have sold one of the vehicle that originally costed sara in 2006 uh, for 9200 okay so what we need to do we need to chart depreciation on this asset separately first of all we need to apply 20 percent on original cost that is 9200 and the answer would be full year depreciation but as you can see we haven't used the uh, asset for the entire year 2010 that is 31st december we have uh, sold the asset halfway through the year and we have sold the asset on 30th june so what we need to do, we need to apply six months depreciation that is six upon 12. Okay, so this is the depreciation. Thirdly, we need to chart depreciation on the assets that we have bought in this year. Now, as you can see, we have bought, we have uh, bought a new vehicle on 1st April 2010 for 15,000. Now, if we count the months from 1st April, uh, running till 30th December so these are basically nine months so you can calculate from April to December and there is another way to calculate this because April to December there are a many number of months so we can count the shorter months now how we can do that uh, January February March now as you can see we do not had this vehicle in first three months that is January February March uh, we have bought it on first April okay so i hope that's not a april fool product so we have bought this asset on first april so what we need to do we need to deduct the first three months from the 12 months and then we are left with for nine months okay so what we need to do we need to charge uh depreciation for 20 percent on 15,000. 20 percent on 15,000 g okay so if we apply 20% on 15,000, the total depreciation would be, I guess, 3,000. But this 3,000 would be for entire year. We haven't used it for entire year. Instead, we have only used the asset for nine months. So if we apply nine upon 12, so we are left with depreciation of 20 to 50. Now, what we need to do, we need to add up all of these. If we add up all of these, the total depreciation is 75530. So this is the answer basically for debris calculating depreciation using month wise and now sir what happened uh, if there was a full year policy instead of month wise policy if it's if it's not month wise policy sorry uh, then uh, what would happen if it was a full year policy so full year policy is basically very easy we'll be starting with the total cost of the asset that we had at the start of the year that is 371 so what we need to do we need to deduct the asset that we have sold this year and we need to add the asset uh, that we have bought this year okay we need to deduct the asset that we have sold and we need to bought the asset that we have just bought this year and the uh, balance cd is so the closing value is whatever it is we need to apply 20 percent directly on that amount and that is 75360 so this is basically a full year policy and this is how we calculate a depreciation using month wise policy